YouTuber. So a few days ago, I went to Tai Tai Changgao with my friends and I grabbed a couple of items and I wanted to share it with you guys in this video because you guys have been requesting me to do Tai Tai hauls and I've been seeing that it's a thing here on YouTube lately. And I'll also be sharing some of my like thoughts and experience when I was there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below to get updated and notified every time I post a video. Follow me on my social media sites. Instagram and Twitter is at Lexi Rodriguez with 2Z so that I would get to communicate with you guys more. And if you have any video suggestions, you can just tweet it to me or leave it in the comments down below. Anyways, without further ado, let's get started. So last Thursday, I went to Tai Tai Changge in Tai Tai Rizal and I went with my friends and honestly, it's my first time there and it was a very new experience and environment for me. And I was kind of scared at first because of course, like, ang daming tao. Tapos, like, yung place, may parts dun parang medyo masikip. Sometimes, like, okay naman yung space. And it was better than expected. So, I would really give it, like, a good rating naman. Like, the place isn't, like, super sketchy and all. Just be careful and mindful of your stuff because, of course, you'll never know. And if you're planning to go there and it's your first time, I'd suggest not to bring that much money. Like, I only brought 1,000 pesos with me. And madami na ako na bilido, like I had changed pang so like 900 pesos ang nagastos ko. As for the quality of their clothes, suggest ko pag may nakita kayo, ikot mo na kayo kasi like ang dami talaga ng stores, tos para para has ng binebenta nila. So like mas maganda na compare niyo mo na yung price and yung material kasi minsan mas manipis, minsan like mas makapal pero same lang naman yung design. And what else pa ba? Uh, minsan like kasi iba iba yung parang I don't know what you call it, but hindi siya building eh, pero it's like open space kasi. Pero my roof naman siya, so hindi super init. And yeah, basically that's just my experience and my tips for you guys if you're planning to go to Tai Tai Changge. So now I'm gonna be showing you guys the stuff that I got. I got one, two, three, four, five, and six. So I got six bags. And wait, one more tip pala. If you guys go there, I suggest you guys should bring like your own echo bag or like a big plastic or paper bag because like each store they're gonna give you plastic and it's kind of hassle na dalin yung lahat and yun yung mistake ko like even na ka watch ako ng videos na magbring ng eco bag na kalimutan ko pero yeah suggest ko magbring kayo ng malaking bag para it's not hard to bit bit so I'm gonna start off with the first item that I purchased and this is why I gave you guys a tip na magikot mo na kayo bago kayo bumili and check yung material because there was a time I saw this one tas parang free size daw siya pero it's like super laki like like, tinan siya ko, parang hindi talaga siya magkakasya sa akin. Like, sobrang luwag niya. And when I went around pa with my friend, nakita ko yung exact same thing. But this one, much better yung tela niya and mas small. So, this is how it looks like. They're just culottes. And the print is like very trendy now. I don't know how you call it. If it's like a checkered bar or something. But it kind of looks a bit like formal and all. But still very casual. Like, I've been seeing so many like Instagram vloggers wearing this. I can't wait to wear this one and I only bought it for around like 140 pesos. In my next bag, I got like a coordinates or like they like to call it terno set. So parang basically it's like top and bottom and they just have the same pattern. So they're also like flowy wide leg bottoms and it has like pink and black stripes. And then this is the top. It's like an off shoulder. It's super cute. So this is how it looks like. So I'm super excited to wear this. It was only like 190 pesos, which is a really good deal because for a whole outfit, you just spent 190 pesos. Before I went to Tai Tai, of course, I watched like YouTube videos, YouTube hauls on the stuff that they got there. And Manny was able to buy like the satin pambahe shorts and it was super cute. This is the closest one that I was able to buy. They're just like velvet material and it's super comfy so I got it in black. I also got it in like a mauve nudish pinkish color. This one's my favorite. And lastly I got it in blue. I think this costs like around 60 pesos and I only got it for like 55 pesos each because I think the minimum for their wholesale is three items. But I think it's pretty worth it and very affordable to use when you house lang. In this next bag probably are the items that are my favorite purchase from all the stuff that I bought. First is this like plain mustard top. I super love the color but what I love the most is at the side it has black and white line details which is like super cute. It adds so much to this top and guys guess how much this was. It was only 80 pesos like can't wait to just wear it with like 
ripped jeans and sneakers like even if it's plain but like the lines at the side give so much and styles like this are super trendy lately and speaking of lines I got this like black halter top it also has like the lines over here but it's white and red this one's super cute so it's just a plain halter top this one isn't cropped so it's a bit long and here down to my second to the last plastic bag and I got three items this first top, the main reason why I got this was because most of my friends bought this and then it was only like 50 pesos. So I was like, I bought it, but it's like this like satin material. It's just like a v-neck tank top. It's super thin like the strap. And it's like a nudish, light pinkish color. And it's just super cute. Like I'd imagine it with like a t-shirt underneath or like a denim jacket on top of it. And it's very flowy, so perfect for like the heat season. Next item that I got is also one of my favorite purchase and it's just this ribbed off-shoulder crop top and it's just blue and it has like white dots in it and guys I only purchased this for 50 pesos also and the last item from that bag is this super cute like teal sequency top like I'd imagine it with like something underneath probably like a sports bra or like a tank top but the sad thing about it is when I tried it on it had a hole so that's super sad probably another tip is to check the item before like getting it or paying for it because you'll never know that there might be damages like this so last and final item for this haul is very random but I got a pair of like fluffy house slippers and I got it in purple and guys this was only 35 pesos and I got it in size 9 although I'm size 8 since it's for house on the manpara there's allowance but it's really like comfy like I wore it and it's so soft like really perfect for the house that is it for my Tai Tai haul I hope you guys enjoyed if not punta na kayo dun and you have any experiences you want to share or tips that I haven't mentioned leave them in the comments so that for those who are planning can read it and we can help each other out anyways I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys